What is up my pen friends and paper lovers? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Devin and for today's video we've got a favorites roundup for the month of July. I only have a few things to share with you guys today. I feel like that very short list reflects how quickly July came and went. But let's go ahead and get into the favorites. I have all writing implements to share with you and we're gonna start off with fountain pens. The first one that I wanna talk about is the Mini So Clear Demonstrator Fountain Pen. I have a whole video on this about what I think of it and how it compares to the Lamy Vista counterpart. I personally don't own a Lamy Vista and quite frankly, I don't think that I'll need one after using this. It's a very affordable fountain pen. It's around $2.30 I believe in the US. I got it when I was in the Philippines. It's a great reliable fountain pen that I kind of keep as my knock around pen. Like I don't mind bringing this out with me if I'm gonna be you know going to a meeting or something like that most of my fountain pens i get a little bit nervous about because i've spent a considerable amount in comparison so i keep most of my fountain pens here at my desk but this one i don't mind bringing around with me and i always look forward to writing with it even when i'm here at home and i have access to my other fountain pens i've been reaching for this one quite a bit it's in extra fine but if you've watched my video you know that it's a little bit more broad than that it came with a black ink cartridge which i like because i feel like black is pretty universal especially for you know things that i might encounter in my day-to-day outings. Overall, I really have been enjoying this pen and if you haven't seen my video about it, I'll have it linked off in the description box below so you can hear about it more in detail. This next pen is really special and it is the Moon Man M2 with the metallic purple grip and this was actually a gift from my pen friend Daniel. So Daniel, if you're watching this, Thank you so much. It's quickly become one of my favorite pens to use. So this and my Miniso fountain pen have sort of been my everyday carry. This was my first experience with an eyedropper pen and I really, really like it, especially in this clear demonstrator body because you can see the ink sloshing around. And if you hear that little clinking, there's actually a little ball inside here. So Daniel had actually recommended this to me for my shimmer and sheening inks. So right now I have Colorverse Quasar, Quasar? I could be butchering that so terribly right now, but that's the ink that I have in here. It does come in this nice plastic case with a little eyedropper that you can use to fill the pen. I do want to mention that the grip section does come in other colors, so you can purchase it with blue, green, I think there's a clear one, I can't remember, don't quote me on that, and then there's a metallic rose, which I ended up getting because I have been enjoying this pen so much. So I just want to say thank you again to Daniel for introducing me to this pen. Next up, I want to talk about my Conklin Duragraph, and this is the limited edition turquoise color. I have also talked about this in a previous video. It is my Goulet Pens haul, so if you haven't seen that, I'll have it linked off in the description box below. This was on sale at Goulet Pens for $52. I think it's originally $75 or around there. I just was really drawn to what a pretty pen it was. It's a resin body fountain pen and I decided to be adventurous and get the flex nib. So this was my first encounter with a flex nib. I had done a lot of research prior and set my expectations accordingly. It is not the uber flex pen of my dreams, but it's been really fun for me to play around with. I have it inked up with Airbon Blue Calling Q. Still don't know how to pronounce that, but if you do, please feel free to share in the comments below. But I thought that was a really great pairing because it matches the body pretty well. Overall, a really fun pen. I'm glad that I kind of took a risk there and got it. Again, because the price was so high for me personally, I just was on the fence about it. But now that I have it, I'm really glad that I just kind of 
went for it. And Goulet Pens in general is just amazing with their customer service. I've interacted with them on returns before, so that gave me the extra boost of confidence to be adventurous and kind of go outside my comfort zone. This pen has definitely escalated my interest in flex nibs, so if you have any recommendations, feel free to let me know in the comments section below. I am looking into the Fountain Pen Revolution flex nib and they have a number six size nib this has a number six size nib i'm wondering if any of you have had experience in using the fpr flex nib in this so if you have any feedback on that please let me know this next favorite actually kind of ties into the conklin duragraph with the flex nib and it is this zebra brush pen that i got from daiso i cannot read the characters on it so I'm not sure what size tip or brush it is but in comparison to the other ones that I have it's sort of in the middle and the reason I'm kind of talking about these two in conjunction with one another is that you use these writing instruments for either calligraphy or hand lettering and I've noticed that ever since I started using this flex pen my control of this brush pen has improved immensely. I've always been interested in hand lettering, but I haven't been consistent with practicing, and those darn upstrokes really get to me sometimes. Using a flex pen, I have to be even that much more controlled. I don't know if that's uncommon or not, but that's what I'm personally experiencing. I feel like me practicing with this flex pen has translated into using a brush pen so i've just been enjoying using this a lot more these three pens right here so all of these have a purpose in my past month i've been using these three for taking a lot of notes and this i've just been playing around with because it's new but these are my favorite pens for the month of july I know it's a very short list for favorites this month, but these are the things that I'm truly enjoying and would recommend for you guys to try out if you haven't already. I would love to hear from you guys. What have you been enjoying this past month? Let me know in the comment section below. It doesn't have to be stationary related. I love hearing it all. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with a friend who you think might also enjoy it. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss any of these videos. I do my best to upload every Thursday evening so please take care until then and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!